Okay, we're here at PRT with Daryl Genther and his two games. Popeye, and uh, what is the name of the other one now? It's Pentago. Pentago. It's gone, it's gone through a number of uh, yeah. name changes. Yes. But, uh, so uh, how has your experience been here at PRGE with people coming up, especially with these very well-known games? It's been awesome. It's yeah? been humbling, humbling <laughs> to watch the, the game sell and to actually be here to to experience that. Oh yeah. I was here in 2018. Yeah. I didn't know who anybody was. I knew who Al was, you know? That's pretty much was my experience yeah. early on. It's like, oh, okay, I know Al. Yeah. And I'll slowly meet some people. Right, yeah. right. And now it's like a big family. Oh, it's it is. Awesome. Everybody knows everybody. It's, yeah. it's really great. And that's the strength of the community of Atari Age, you know, being uh, held together by Al and yep. we're all contributing towards it. And, um, yes astounding work that you've done and and all the rest of the Atari 7800 developers as well. It's really oh, yeah. come into its own oh, in yeah. the past couple of years. Yeah, this is amazing. It's great yep. to be a part of it. And what do you attribute to like the, the big boom of um, 7800 games? Well, um, Mike with his VB, <laughs> yeah. or I mean his basic. 7800 basic, yeah. and then Matt with the uh, Visual Studio plugin. Yeah. I mean, those were key essentials for me to even want to try, you know, poking around with the 7800. Yeah, so yeah. that was that was great to have those tools ready. And then the hardware, the- uh, Yes, Concerto, the Concerto, Dragonfly. Yep. And then the Dragonfly, yep. It, it's all these little, these things that make the ability, you know, even the, the Atari forums as well, the sharing of information between the developers. Right, and right. It's, you can put a question out there and, you know, within an hour you're going to have the answer or at least pointing in the right direction, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised that Mike has been available as much, as, oh as often God. as he was. You know, I had a question yeah. and there was the answer, you know? Yeah, I see him post constantly in yep. the forums. Yep. And it's great having these experts who, who know these systems inside and out. They all have, everybody has their own specialty. Right. Their own knowledge and background, yep. you know? We have yep. the musicians, the, the programmers, the artists, yep. um, and it all contributes towards uh, one goal: is to have fun. Yeah. To so make fun games. Yes. Games we wish existed and now do. Right. Right. <laughs> and to be able to play each other's games and, and enjoy them just as much as. Yeah. Or more than we would have. You know. And, yeah. And you know, people love doing ports. They love doing originals. And I'm surprised there's not more crossover of, of games and people making duplicates and stuff. But everybody has their own strengths and their own. Uh, uh, ambitions of the games they loved as a as a child or, or yeah. growing up, and uh, yeah. what what made you choose uh, Popeye? Well, there was a theme park, Geauga Lake, in Aurora, Ohio. Yeah. And I the, I remember taking my cousin over to this game and saying, "Come here and look at this. It looks like a cartoon." Yes, like, I remember that. It's yes. like the graphics on that were just beyond so many things, and right. we're just so used to. Popeye being the cartoon and the translation was so good. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't believe the expressions on on Brutus's face yeah. and then the little punch retract from Popeye. Yeah. All of that stuff just made such a real and the little swishing and the, the <laughs> motion. Yeah. Yeah. It was just it, it just brought it to life. And I I thought, hey, let's try pro plotting Brutus on the screen. And that's right. where it started. Yeah, yeah, just once you get the ball rolling, especially when you share it in oh, the yeah. forums, once you share it, you can't oh, yeah. go back. It's yeah. like, make it, make it, make it. Right. And uh, the community all, almost wishes it into existence. They so much, oh. do you feel the pressure? Well. In, in From the community, once it, you've revealed? It was a positive pressure because yeah. the first thing, and I've said this before is, what you're going to show it on a podcast or, or a Twitch show, or yeah. you know <laughs> what people are going to see this, and it's not Popeye. It wasn't Popeye at that time. It was just right. a little demo that you know. But you know, I, I think I have the same enthusiasm as the rest of the people. I'm like, 
okay. Uh, I, you know there is ulterior motives when I show some games or some demos on the yeah. show. It's like, yeah. okay, I want this to happen. Yeah. And if I show it on the show, maybe the community will put pressure on the developer and I feel a tiny bit guilty, but I also don't because I want Popeye to exist. Right, right. And well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah. It is yeah. astounding. Thank you. To be able Thank to you. translate something that is so well loved in the arcade was there a lot of pressure to make it as close as possible because you know that there's going to be super fans of Popeye out there playing it going oh that's not quite right and the criticism that might come in no I think for me it was what were the things that that caught my eye like I said the swish Right. And, and Popeye, when he punches, and he pulls back, and that little, right. that little face he makes, and yeah. and when you clear a round and everything freezes, and you have that snapshot, yeah. like I wanted to capture that and the being how Brutus is just what's going on, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I wanted to capture that, and that was me. That was just I just those were the things that stuck out yeah. to me, and I wanted it to be there. Yeah, and I know you weren't extensively iteration after iteration to capture that that feeling because you know by the time like when you press a button you expect a result at a certain there's a certain timing yeah. and there's a right and a wrong feeling when you're playing a game right and right. uh you captured it perfectly with pango and popeye oh well thank you thank you and they're both a joy to play and both very challenging games as well yeah and um uh, so with Pingo, is that another game that you played in the arcade? Because it's it's a lot more obscure, I would say, than Popeye, even though yeah. it's been ported to a lot of systems. Yeah. No, actually, when the video game crash market yeah. took place, I went to Camelot Music, yeah. and they had bargain bins, and that's when my 5200 library grew. Oh, so you took advantage of the crash. So yes. You're very lucky. I, mean, yes. I was too young or not a really aware. I had a Commodore 64, so I wasn't okay. into the, the consoles at that time. Right. But, oh my god. If, if I knew, I would just be raking boatloads of cartridges and consoles in 84, 83, 84. Yeah, yeah, it was great. And <laughs> almost to the point where I had too many new games at once, and uh, you, you, it, nothing was new and exciting because I yeah. had this next one to go to. But Pango was one of the games that we played a lot. On which system? The 5200. 5, okay, yeah. Yeah, my friends and I, we played on the 5200. And so there was an arcade little corner store down the street, and they got a Pango machine. Oh, and I okay. tried it, and it was so hard. It yes. was impossible compared to, you know, that game. And I, when I got the Pango, I'm like, I want it to be challenging, but I think yeah. the 5200 is more fun. I could play that longer and and it was the right balance. So I tried to kind of combine, can I pull all the arcade elements in, the attract screens, the, yeah. the cut scenes. Very full feature, both of those games. You have all these extras that are happening. I, I try, yeah. And, and you also put the uh, different levels of difficulty, yeah. which, which is nice as well. Some, some games it's like, no, you get what you get. Yeah. And it's, which is also probably harder to do. It's like to satisfy the hardcore people yeah. and sat and also make it approachable. And you ha you have to do that as well in like beginner and normal and expert modes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it is a lot more work because you're like have to test it on each of those things. Yeah. So yeah. working with the community and beta testers, how did you how did that go? You felt that went well. There's some great people yeah. for testing. You were part of that. Yeah. Yeah. So much fun. Kenya. And uh, Steve, um, Trevor, yep. they're, they've been great in the community. S. Ramirez, I should say. Yes. For those who <laughs> Steve, who you know, know Steve. The, yeah, Steve. Steve from the U.S. Right, right. <laughs> so, I mean, they were just great. And yep. then Brady, Pat Brady, yep. he, uh, he said, hey, uh, cause I started Pengo. It took Popeye three years to come to market because of the port pokey issue, too. That was part of that. Right. And yep. I thought, well, if Pengo has good TIA, basic music, yeah. then the pokey can just kind of add to it. Yeah. So it was built around the TIA sound, but then Brady came in and said, I want to do harmonies with the TIA. Mm, yeah. And so then it, 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 it became a now bigger the option. Yeah. And 
granted, the TIA is really amazing on on, on uh, Pentago. He, he did an awesome job. And yeah. on a lot of 7800 games, I'm I'm sometimes pressed to figure out whether it is the TIA, yeah, uh, or if it's the Pokey. Right, right. Uh, there's some magicians now working with the TIA. Just, yeah, yeah, it's astounding. Yeah. Um, so people coming up to Popeye and Pango, uh, what are the, some of the reactions been? I've had some really kind words with Popeye. You know, yeah. people have told me they've been waiting for it to come out or right. they've really loved it. And, oh, you, you made that? You know, <laughs> you're, you're Daryl, you know. So it's it's been really kind of cool to And fun to, to here, stand but. near it and, I guess, be able to talk to the people yeah. as they come up and they have questions. You can answer them directly. And yeah. that is yep. a lot of fun. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I'm a filmmaker and making films and we have Q&A and I think that's Q&A after the film shows. Yeah. And I think that would be a very similar feeling. Yeah. Yeah, because they play your game and then they can ask you questions about the game. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, it feels good. Yeah. So thank you so much thank for you. being here and, yeah. and making these amazing games for us. Well, thank you. And it was great, great to, to meet you. You too. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thank you.